Five-year-old Jordan Rodriguez was a vulnerable boy who clearly needed help. Reports show he was not only physically abused, but he was malnourished, only weighing 15 pounds at the time of his death. He was also nonverbal. Now the attorney representing his estate hopes this trial will speak out on his behalf, sending a strong message to Catholic charities. Jury selection began in the wrongful death trial filed against Jordan's mother, Larissa Rodriguez, her boyfriend, and Nancy Caraballo. Caraballo is the Catholic charity social worker who was hired to do welfare checks on Jordan. Catholic charities had a contract to provide services to that family. Attorney J. Paul Deratani represents Jordan's estate. Five years ago, he filed a wrongful death lawsuit, which is now going to trial. This all stems from a horrific case of abuse back in 2017. Deratani says there were at least 13 cases of abuse and neglect involving Jordan that Catholic Charities and Caraballo should have known about. He says Caraballo failed to do her job. According to reports, Rodriguez and her boyfriend were abusing Jordan so badly that he became unconscious and eventually died. Multiple fractured ribs and multiple or in a uh, fractured wrist. So, you know, that's pretty big evidence that there was abuse going on in that home. And for them not to be in the home, because I believe it, had they been in the home, they would have seen evidence of abuse and certainly evidence of starvation. Investigators say the couple then stuffed Jordan's little body into garbage bags and buried him in the backyard of their Cleveland home. The couple pled guilty to charges of manslaughter, felonious assault, and abuse of a corpse. They're both serving prison sentences of at least 25 years. Plus, investigators say Caraballo was involved in a scheme to buy food stamps from Jordan's mother illegally. They say she also falsified reports claiming she did welfare checks on Jordan, even though she didn't. Caraballo pled guilty to those charges. Deratani hopes jurors will send a strong message to Catholic charities. I hope what this case does is send a signal that Catholic charities need to clean up their act and they need to hopefully restructure things so that other children don't get hurt. The trial could last two or three weeks, but Deratani says he thinks it'll be wrapped up sooner than that. We'll of course let you know. Reporting from the Justice Center, Mike Mason, 19 News.